Bye bye car keys? New technology may soon see traditional car keys being replaced by smartphones. The digital key can reportedly lock and unlock cars, as well as start the vehicle's engine. Mashable reports the technology would enable shared access to vehicles across different smartphones. It uses technology such as GSMA, Bluetooth, near-field communication, and global platform. The digital key was developed by the Car Connectivity Consortium. Their members include a number of car and smartphone manufacturers. Their aim is to standardize the digital key as a car key solution across the automotive industry. Mashable reports that the digital key currently requires manufacturer installation. The next version of the technology, called Digital Key 2.0, should enable users to set it up themselves. That's expected for release next year. That's real smart. Smartphones definitely cause cancer. Maybe, maybe not. If you're watching on your phone, it's giving you mad cancer. Oh, it might be, or it might not. Two new studies have found a correlation between cell phone radiation and cancer in lab rats. Researchers from the U.S. National Toxicology Program tested 3,000 rats and mice of both sexes for two years, while European scientists at the Ramazzini Institute in Italy studied 2,500 rats from fetal stage to death. Smartphones emit non-ionizing radiation measured in radio frequency energy. Cell phones and wireless devices emit RF radiation continually, with dose intensity varying with distance from the body. The studies found that prolonged exposure to even low levels of RF radiation cause male rats to develop rare heart tumors called schwannoma, which affects a neuron called a Schwann cell. In the Ramazzini study, researchers also found a weaker link between RF exposure and glial cell cancer in the brain of female rats. So is your phone giving you cancer? Probably not as much as your diet. Some apps might be tracking what you watch on TV. Hundreds of smartphone apps could be tracking their users' television viewing habits. Via a device's microphone, many apps reportedly use advanced automated content recognition software by company Alfonso to listen in on users' television viewing habits. According to the New York Times, Alfonso does this by pinpointing audio signals in television ads or shows. The company tracks this data for advertisers. Alfonso chief executive Ashish Chordia says users are made aware of the technology and that it complies with federal trade guidelines. The software can also track what films people watch at the cinema based on audio snippets provided to the company from film studios. The company also gathers data from TiVo, televisions, and streaming devices from other manufacturers. This, The Times reports, can be combined with characteristics such as age, sex, and income via large data companies. The right way to charge your phone. If your phone battery is draining too fast and barely holding up, that might be your fault. You've probably been charging it wrong this whole time. Modern smartphones use lithium-ion batteries that charge fast, but also get used up quickly because of the sheer amount of mobile activity they power. People tend to drain their phone batteries before plugging them in overnight. Fortunately, most are equipped with chips that protect against overcharging. Still, it's unwise to leave a device plugged once its battery is full, since trickle charges can heat up the phone, stressing and wearing down the battery. Experts recommend charging the phone before it empties completely and not bringing it to a full charge. Plugging it in occasionally throughout the day ensures the battery retains its capacity longer. Batteries also despise both extreme heat and extreme cold, so make sure it's not exposed to either. Of course, they will conk out eventually, but it's always nice to prolong that lifespan and save a buck or two. This battery could charge your smartphone instantly. It takes a couple of hours to charge most smartphones, but new research from Cornell University could change all that. Typical battery design usually consists of a structure with cathode and anode on the ends and electrolyte in between. Electricity flows out the anode toward whatever it's powering, then back through the battery cathode, creating a circuit. But this design kind of turns that design on its head, and then some. New research from Cornell University details a battery design where all the parts intertwine in a 3D structure, surrounded by thousands of energy-storing nanopores. So how is this better than your traditional battery? The twisting self-assembling gyro dial is dense with power and eliminates a lot of the weight in traditional batteries and allows for much quicker energy transfer, and that means much quicker charge times. Speaking in a Cornell News release, lead researcher Dr. Ulrich Weisner said the nanoscale design could see batteries being charged in seconds or even faster. 
Here's how sunglasses and smartphones do not go hand in hand. Polarized sunglasses look cool, but they also protect your eyesight from harmful ultraviolet rays. Unfortunately, wearing them can render your smartphone unviewable. Here's how. Light waves vibrating across multiple planes are unpolarized, while those vibrating across just one are polarized. According to allaboutvision.com, polarized light tends to reflect from flat surfaces and can create dangers such as glare and reduced visibility. Polarized lenses combat this with a filter that blocks this kind of light. Unfortunately, as Popular Science points out, they can also render your smartphone unviewable from certain angles, but they don't just make smartphone screens difficult to see. When worn, polarized glasses can affect the viewing of GPS devices and cell phones. AllAboutVision.com notes boaters and pilots wearing them have reported visual issues with LCD panels on important systems. And a misjudgment there can sometimes be fatal. But hey, there's an easy fix for the cell phone issue. Popular Science writes that by rotating a smartphone 90 degrees in either direction, a user wearing polarized glasses can line up the glass and phone filters to make the screen viewable again. Polarized glasses don't come cheap either. Manufacturers can bump up the price tag on such designer sunglasses by around $100 or more. Google investigating display issues with this new $800 phone. Internet giant and YouTube owner Google may need to place its latest smartphone in a limited state. Apologies, that's a demonetization joke. Android Central editor Alex Doby reported how a test Google Pixel 2 XL he was sent suffered from screen burn-in after seven days of use. This is when graphics burn into the display. It usually happens after several years of use, not one week. Others have reported similar issues with the device. Technology giant Google is investigating the problem, but a mobile analyst told Reuters that if the company finds a problem with the device, it may need to halt production. But hey, maybe it's not the phone. Maybe it's the YouTube algorithm gone rogue and instead of demonetizing creators, it's demonetizing Google. One $800 phone at a time. Probably not, but their share price did drop by 1.9% on Monday.